Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Apex. I'm sorry for the buzzing in this short uh, little episode. I left my controller plugged in. So three strikes had just come back here and I was so stoked for it. So we played a whole bunch of three strikes um, this day. We were playing roundabout with the team, it's going to come up in just a second. <laughs> Having more fun than actually taking it seriously over here. It's just like going around this big rock. Someone getting knocked and then going around and they get raised and then one of us gets knocked and then it's race time. <laughs> it was just more fun than anything else, honestly. It was like a never ending struggle. <laughs> but it was so fun. And we, we actually won that one. It's me just missing a lot of 30 30 shots. Yeah, the 3 strikes is so much fun, especially when a rampart comes at you and you get her. <laughs> so nothing scares me more than a rampart in this game. And she's actually there a second time. <laughs> but we got her again. And then those guys up there that just wouldn't move. But this was a fun little game in three strikes. I got over 2,000 damage and I was so happy with myself. And we placed 10th. It was an insane game and we placed 10th. That was crazy. It was another three strikes. I think it was the same day because the controller was still plugged in so you can hear the slight buzzing in the background. Which I absolutely hate when I do that but uh, I sometimes just forget. We didn't learn our lesson the first time, so we went back to face them again. Ah, it's so fun! When you get someone in the air. <laughs> I'm focusing on doing my Havoc challenges, the gun challenges. As we'll see in most of the next upcoming games, I'm going to be using a Havoc and either a 30 or some sort of long range weapon. Um, most of the games now are just me running around looking for a turbo charger. Which I sometimes don't get and I just have to kind of go the way I go. We had a Watson on this team and I was kind of hoping she would fence around us. But I think she forgot she was a Watson as well. Which I do on the regular so I mean yeah, it is what it is. This was a relatively short one. Um, still did pretty decent damage. I'm so sorry Loba. You barely had time to swap your guns there. He was tried to avenge but he couldn't. And those guys were in a serious battle so I was just doing the annoying thing and sniping from very far. <laughs> if I can actually get them. There we go. I think there was like four teams there at one point and then those guys, I think those are the guys that finally got us. And that one just hiding there. We got he also 2000 in this game and then finally the buzzing noise is over I do apologize for that okay so this was a ranked game last season season 20 um, I'm a little bit behind editing and posting everything for <laughs> I love it when a nade hits I did so good yeah I remember this now oh I was so mad at myself <laughs> that was sad. <laughs> There's another one. I just went right back in. I would normally play rank until I hit gold and then I'm happy. Um, I don't want to go much higher than that, but if, I mean, if I do eventually get higher than that, woohoo! That's fantastic. That fuse is one shot. If I can actually hit Loba there, that would be fantastic. Recharging 
And one's down. We've got one more in that team, I think. We have a match to win. Again with the Havoc, because I... It's the first gun I chose for my weapon challenges. <laughs> oh, I panicked. Thank you, Valkyrie. This was this was kind of funny. This is why you heal before you take any sort of zip or anything. But at least I was still attached to Valkyrie. I think this was when Valkyrie's challenges were happening. I could be wrong though. I don't even think they noticed I was down. <laughs> These guys, they were like two teams in here. Maybe three at the end of it. There's a lot happening in here. We should have actually pushed there when I hit her or knocked her of course I don't have my mic on because randoms I've been getting have been very aggro lately at poor Loba There's a team basically on each door or each entrance of this four point spot. And as soon as one was defeated, the next one stepped in. It was a pretty insane game. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. This game had me on my nerves. I knew going up there was a death sentence, but I decided to try anyway. <laughs> Nope, 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 everywhere. Everywhere, they just got me from everywhere. <laughs> but I'm happy, I got over a thousand damage that game, which is insane for me. It was also a season 20 game. I think this was after the reset. I'm not good with a Mastiff, that's going to be one of the most difficult weapon challenges for me is the shotguns, because I don't really play shotguns Hey okay. That just chased me, it's like buddy calm down I wasn't sure where most of the people were in this match, like we were constantly fighting or constantly hurt fighting but as you can see it's like round 4 closing and we're only now really getting into it This is the last squad left <laughs> It was just so much going on this game, I was so confused and one Pathfinder on that team kept zipping up, zipping down, zipping up. He was everywhere. I spotted one trying to sneak up on us over that side. Nice, nice. Pathfinder again. And then there was only one left, I think. And he was over there. Two! Oh, they're not raised. I got so happy, I was like, yes! 
it's so nice when you win a ranked game because I know for you guys it could be a lot like every second third game but for me winning a ranked game is like every eighth game maybe and damage wise it didn't do that great but it's still we won so I was very happy with this game this game we were vibing me in this backline there like it was knock after knock after knock it was insane Shield. Hey. Oh, mine, buddy. I oh, feel so, so bad when I get a give me. I'm out of it. <laughs> Pathfinder was cool. We were just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then we got over confident. I don't know why she was trying to talk so long though. I mean, she was just. <laughs> We were just having fun vibing, it's like, oh yeah, we just took out two teams, maybe three. And then I got overconfident thinking, if this bear fight now my team, we are vibing. So we made a pretty big mistake here. So I'm fully assessing the situation. We zipped up and got our... We got whooped. But I missed every shot and I got... I got just... <laughs> I'm still happy with the game there, it was fine. Let's see, now I'm in rank, gold, and I'm pretty much happy with where I am. We're in a new season now, so I'm busy walking, working up to gold again. Everybody's just sniping now. Oh, I have shields. I mean, I've got four, but I need those. That's why I like playing Loba. I mean, this is so weird. <laughs> get her! Get her! Get her! Thank you. And we were just sniping the egg out of everyone, yeah. I know where those te that team flew to. This game, the ending though, it was a bit of a difficult position we were in, so. I guess the Vantage right on top of us, there's four squads left, and because of the Vantage team above. <gasps> oh, she's literally one shot. And my controller is plugged in again. Oh, uh, this. I don't know what you guys are hearing, the music in the background. Um, This is my favorite thing to do whenever I go into the firing range to warm up. So I just chuck one of those and then I wait. And then someone likes and throws one. And it's like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, why is it so loud? We went on to do this for probably two minutes, just throwing hollow shields at each other. There was definitely a full squad um, that I was throwing holograms at because there were three different people. After this, I just went out and messaged the person, the first one, thank you for doing it because people don't normally do it. I just find it so cute when this happens, when it's just like a good vibe moment in such a competitive game. Um, <laughs> I absolutely adored it. Like every time I go down into the firing range, this is what I do before I do my warm-ups. Is I chuck a shield, uh, this hologram down, and then I just wait and see if someone actually likes and throws one back at me. And I just think it is so cute and the reason the buzzing is so loud now is because I sped up the video. That's why, because it amplified the sound as well. I. This was fun. Like, I really enjoyed this. Um, 
but yeah this went on for a long time because it was the first time I had so many people actually respond with their own holograms and I was like oh I've got more I've got more I've got more I got so happy <laughs> So every day before I go into actual matches I go into the firing range and I pick up the guns I'm focusing on which at the moment is the Havoc and I try and get 100 kills or I don't try, I get 100 kills and then I go into the game. I have found that it's helped me with improving quite a bit. I mean if I check my stats for the previous seasons I've played and this season since I started doing the warm-ups it has really helped me like yeah. I don't know where all my cool um, holograms are, so I just randomly pick people and like, okay, let's see if I've got something cool there. And then when I pick the Ash, <laughs> I've got a hologram for her that says, um, I smell a rat. For season 17's rat, where that I smell a rat thing was. And I chucked it as quick as I swapped it out to something else because I didn't want them to get offended. I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Um, but I love that emote because every time I find a little rat spot, I chuck it in there. <laughs> Uh, it's funny um, yeah but that is it for this episode I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys like the new style of editing it's a lot more content if you do like and subscribe and thank you for watching I really appreciate it have a good one